So today morning, before the market opened, I rejected total 15 stocks and I have this list here. I will show you exactly what process I have used to reject 15 stocks. See, the fact that I'm getting 15 stocks or 15 setups in my radar and I'm not even able to select even one of them indicates that there is inherent weakness in the market right now. I am recording this video on the 5th of September 2024. I don't know exactly what date this video will be published, but you can understand as of now, if I'm getting 15 stocks on my radar, which have proper setups, and if I'm rejecting all of them, then there is some problem in the market. I don't look at the index to, to know whether the market is in, is in a problem or not. When I look at this kind of data, it tells me that there is some problem, okay? So let's go through these 15 stocks one by one quickly. So first one is Keynes Technology. <clears throat> I click on Consolidated. So as you can see here, the first thing I want to determine is whether this is a positional trade or it's a swing trade, okay? If at all, I have to buy this stock. So as you can see, the, the recent quarter EPS growth is 87%. So this is a positional trade. This number should be more than 40%. Now for positional trade, I need, I need to look at all the other factors. If all of them are in my favor, then I would be interested in buying the stock. So let's look at all, all the other factors. Okay. So sales growth is there. EPS growth is there. Return on equity is a problem. This should be 17%, but that's fine. The number of funds holding the stock are increasing, which is good. The company is not leveraged. So long-term debt to equity is only 2%. Okay, management ownership is more than 50%. Okay. EPS rating is 99, which is fantastic. Price strength is 88, which is fantastic. So all of these numbers, the master score, EPS rating, price strength. I want all of these numbers to be more than 80. Accumulation distribution rating is B plus, fantastic. Group rank is 28. This number is less than 40, which is which means it is fantastic. EPS growth rate is excellent. P ratio is 142, which is near more than the higher, higher end of the range, okay? Which for a growth stock is okay. The cash flow is positive. So all the factors are in place here and you can see the relative strength is rising. The only reason why I have rejected this stock is because of the setup itself. So if we go to, if I go to this Keynes technology chart, So let's go to Keynes technology. See, I have drawn this base for you. See the buy point is here. So this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. The buy point is here. And as you can see after point number two, there is not a single candle which has closed in the upper half of the base. So I want this base to complete. The base is not complete. All the other factors are in place here, but the base is not properly formed. This would be buying too early. I want the stock to do something like this. Wait, let me draw this for you so that you can visualize it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then from here, I want the stock to go up. So the base is yet to be formed. So I'm waiting for the base to complete. Only then I will enter the stock. So that is the reason why I have rejected this stock purely because of technical reason. Fundamentally, the stock looks okay. Okay. So it's not an outright reject. I am waiting for the stock to give me a proper base. And as you can see, the re relative strength line is declining as the, uh, the market is going up, the stock is going down. That is not a good sign, okay? Next, we will look at Mazgao, okay? Mazgao doc. Now some stocks, I don't need to do this much analysis, okay? Just look at this base, okay? It is in base six, which means this is a late stage. 
So late stage, anyways, we are not going to uh, put our money in. And even if we put our money in a late stage base, our position size is going to be small. And if I convert this to a trading view chart, you will see, see if I expand this, there is a falling window here between these two candles. So unless that falling window breaks, I'm not even going to look at this data. Okay. It's very simple, very easy to reject this stock. Next, we have Aditya Birla Sun Life. AMC. Now, if you look at the fundamentals, this is not 40%. The average of these two numbers, the sales growth is not 40%. So uh, this, is, this is not a stock for a positional trade. This is a stock which you would look at from a swing trading perspective. Now for a swing trading, we need this number to be at least 80, the price strength and this number to be below 40 which is not the case. So this is reject. Next is Chambal. Chambal fertilizer. Nice base formation, but see declining sales growth for the past five quarters. This number is not 40%. So this stock is not for positional trading. It is only for swing. Again, for swing, we need this number to be minimum 80. Okay. We want strength. We want to look at strength. Plus this number should be less than 40. So both are not the case. This number should preferably be A. Institutional demand should be A grade. Not the case. So reject. Next is GM Breweries. See how quickly I am able to reject stocks. Because I know what I am looking for. See, very poor sales growth. This number is not more than 40%. So this is not a positional trade. This is a swing trade. Again, for swing trade, we need price strength to be minimum 80. We need this number to be for less than 40. We need this number to be A grade. Not the case. So reject. So five stocks we have rejected now. Next is Godrej Agrovet. See, I'm not even looking at the chart in most of the cases. Here itself, I can reject. Again, see, look at the poor sales growth, poor earnings growth. So this is not a positional trade. This is a swing trade. For swing trade, again, this number has to be more than 80. And look at the poor base formation. The stock seems to be declining. The stock should form a proper right-hand base towards this green dotted line, okay? And it is still 8% below the pivot point, okay? So not convincing. Reject. Okay. Next, India Cements. So the first thing that I am trying to determine is whether this is a positional trade or a swing trade. See poor sales growth. Okay. But you do have earnings growth here. So this could be taken as a positive sign. Okay. We could consider this as a positional trade, but for positional trade, you know, see group rank is 131, which is beyond is based in the bottom half of the industries in terms of their performance. So extremely poor industry performance, return on equity is negative because there's no sales. Cash flow is negative. Okay. Management ownership is less than uh, 50%. Master score is 67. We want this number to be more than 80. EPS rating, we want this number to be more than 80. So even though it is completing a nice flat base here, which is base number two, I am still not convinced. If the earnings is up 165%, then why is it that this earnings is not supported by sales growth? So that means there is some problem. Maybe there is some problem in reporting. Okay. I don't know. I, I just want to stay away from this stock. Neither positional nor swing trade. Next is Mahanagar gas. This is a utility company. See again, you have the green dotted line. Okay, so it's forming a base on the weekly chart. Poor earnings growth, poor 
sales grow so this is a positional this is not a positional trade this has to be a swing trade for swing trade you can't take a stock which is has a group rank of 121 this number should be less than 40 price strength cannot be 75 this number should be less should be more than 80 okay and accumulation distribution should be a in this case it is b so nothing is in in our favor why should we risk our money here okay next is pfc power finance corporation yeah see nice base formation here see this number is not 40% the average of these two numbers is not 40% okay even if we look at william o'neil criteria this number should be minimum 25% and it should be accelerating sales growth this number should be minimum 25% and accelerating earnings growth both are not there okay this is not a positional trade okay this is a swing trade again for a swing trade we want this number to be 80 minimum this number to be 40 or less this should be a grade master score should be 80 or above so although this is this is early stage base i am not interested moreover very important to notice here is look at the character of the stock see this green dotted lines whenever it breaks out of the base it crashes 8% which is your stop loss again see here it went up crashed 8% see this price undercut the low again when it broke out of this green green dotted line again it crashed 8% again it went up again it crashed 8% so if you see the nature of this stock even if you had bought here looking at this base the stock has again crashed 8% so if you look at the personality of this stock the moment it tries to go up the bears come and push the price down why because it is not supported by the fundamentals these are not very strong fundamental this is average growth this is not the growth of a growth stock okay so reject rec i think rec and pfc are come from the same industry so you will see so you will notice the chart pattern looks almost the same so although this is completing a double bottom and that to base number 1 i am not interested because you see poor growth poor growth numbers cash flow is negative institutional demand is b group rank is poor okay master score is poor eps and price strength are okay but uh, i am not interested because i am not even interested in a swing trade because the group rank is poor the demand is not there so i don't find this convincing plus the relative strength line is is flat it is not increasing okay so not interested next is rudra this is a broken chart this is what i call a broken chart let it open up i will show see this upper circuit all it keeps hitting upper circuit and when it comes down it keeps hitting that down circuit okay so this this is a broken chart it doesn't have proper candlesticks formation so i am not even going to look at the numbers i don't want to put my money in charts that are broken where if i get stuck in a stock i don't get the opportunity to exit next is kalpatru see for every stock that i am rejecting the reason is different but ultimately i am arriving at the same conclusion my goal is to keep my risk low see there is nice base formation here cup formation but see poor earnings poor sales this is not a positional trade this is a swing trade again for a swing trade we need group rank to be 40 or less we need price strength to be 80 or more okay not satisfied rejected next is savita oil nice base formation the window has been closed window has been closed poor fundamentals poor earnings growth poor sales growth group rank from so this is not a positional trade this is a swing trade right for swing trade we need this number to be 40 or below we need this number to be 80 or more not satisfied rejected okay next is sudarshan sudarshan chemicals
so you have this weird kind of base formation i don't know what this base is maybe they call it ascending base yeah this is an ascending base but i am not convinced with the base itself i need a proper flat base formation poor earnings growth poor sales growth so this is not a positional trade this is going to be a swing trade for swing trade we need it. we need this number to be at least 40 okay this is 85 that is fine this is a that is fine but poor industry uh, performance so i am not convinced and i don't like this base okay i want proper minimum 10 candles in the base that's my basic criteria so i'll just say pass then i have vedanta this is a significantly larger company it's a large cap stock nice base formation this is a stage this is a base number 2 poor fundamentals okay poor earnings growth poor sales growth even from a swing trading point of view this number should be more than 80 this number should be less than 40 this number should be a at least return on equity should be more than 17% so poor everything is poor about this stock nothing nothing convincing here relative strength line is declining why would i put my money in such a stock okay and that too in a overall weak market so we have looked at total 15 stocks and you see within a few minutes i have rejected all of them for one reason or another so why is this happening it's happening because overall in general the market is weak okay if i am getting a proper setup on the chart then one of the factors on the left hand side are off and if if i am getting all the factors on the left side okay if all the parameters fundamental technical ratings are okay then i am getting a chart pattern which looks weird so there is not a single stock where both both the things are matching where i get the proper parameters in place and i have a nice chart base both are not coming together so i am staying away from the market why should i force myself to trade the stock market in these kind of conditions so market is trying to trap me is trying to show me positive data on one side negative data on one side i am not going to fall into that trap okay thank you so much